Good afternoon, members of the media. We're here for a press conference on Census 2016. I'd like to recognize and acknowledge the Director of Stats, Ms. Williams, and the Assistant Director, Mr. Holder. Good thank afternoon. you. Good thank afternoon. you for joining us today. And thank you all for coming. May 20th is Census Day, and on May 21st is the day when Bermuda officially begins the process of counting our entire population process which is intended to last through the fall. As a reminder, the general benefit of a census is to provide a snapshot of the size and the profile of our population and housing stock at any given point in time, and we've selected May 20th as that date. Historically, census data has been used to develop effective strategies relating to infrastructure, education, health, employment, and other important economic and social issues. The length of time between the 2010 and the 2016 census is, is the smallest in the history of Bermuda. We believe that more frequent censuses would allow the government, its partners, and its community stakeholders to make policy decisions based on current and important information. Our objectives are very simple. First and foremost, we hope to have everyone's full participation in the census this year. And we also want to make sure that it is as convenient as possible. And in that regard, census data will be collected in a variety of ways, including online, telephone interviews, personal interviews, and of course by mail. The 2016 census will be conducted in four phases, and they are, first, a web-based application for the collection and management of census information during the 2016 Census of Population and Housing. Secondly, through computer-assisted telephone interviews. Thirdly, computer-assisted personal interviews using netbooks. And finally, a mail-out questionnaire option. I'd like to point out that historically, data collection in Bermuda censuses involved person-to-person -person interviews only. In the 2010 census, the Department of Statistics introduced telephone interviewing as a data collection method. And this year, as we introduce the primary and preferred method of online data collection again, we are encouraging all residents to participate. We believe that the e-census method is the quickest, easiest, and of course, most convenient method. Please follow the steps that will be outlined in a letter that is being mailed to households today. As an assurance to all of you, I think it's important to remind residents that all of the information and data that is gathered, you are protected under the Statistics Act of 2010. So all of the information collected is held in the strictest of confidence. And lastly, this is a national undertaking. And by law, every individual in our community must be counted, everyone, young and old, Bermudian, guest worker, every man, woman, and child in every parish across the island. So it is our civic duty to participate. During the last census, about 64,000 people were counted. Mm -hmm. However, it really goes deeper than just counting people. Ultimately, it's about improving our quality of life, supporting all our families, ensuring safer communities, and strengthening our workforce and our economy. And this is done through the information that we collect. So, Census 2016 data collection starts on May 21st, this Saturday. Each one of us, every resident, has a unique opportunity to make a difference, and we need everyone in, everyone's help in shaping our community. With those introductory comments, I'm happy to answer some questions. And if you get too technical, I can turn to my right or my left. <laughs> Premier, how long will it take and how much will it cost? It will last through the fall of this year, and the budget for it is $1.7 million, compared to the budget of 2010, $2.9 million. So there's a savings of $1.2 million. And the online will help you save money. Uh, terrifically. And I want to take this opportunity again to reinforce the potential of the online census, not only in the budgetary savings, but in the ease of everyone being counted in the census. If somebody doesn't have access to a computer, they can use a family member's commu computer or go into the library or public place and try to get online. 
We plan for, I believe, about 12% of people to be census uh, online. Right. And, yeah, and, we hope, yeah. and we hope we can increase that number to 25 or 30%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The more we do, the easier it will make the proce process and the more efficient it will make it. How many new questions have you added since the 19, uh, 2010? Good afternoon. We, have, we added one new question, and that was one that was provided to us by the Bermuda Health Council and that was looking at the whole item in terms of persons with insurance coverage and why we asked my question why they do not have insurance coverage. So we used to ask whether you have insurance coverage or not, but now we've added the new question. If you don't have it, what, what the reasons for not having it? Okay, any more census related questions first? In fact, how many um, are any returning students going to be used to assist in the gathering of this information in terms of providing summary reporting? Sir. Yep. Good afternoon. Uh, yes, we, uh, we are part of the uh, uh, summer employment program. And as, as of now, we do have several students uh, lined up uh, to work with us over the um, summer vacation period, university students. Have you raised the fee that the people will get? They will be employed under the Department of Workforce Development uh, Summer Employment Program, and so will be paid at, at that summer employment rate. No, the answer is no. For, for summer students, no. Okay. 